Hey there, peeps, Celine here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII on PlayStation 1. Um, now keep in mind, I'm not mentioning much of the trophies you can get if you're playing the updated version of this game for PlayStation 4. Because, again, I don't have the PlayStation 4 copy. I have the uh, remake, but it doesn't have the DLC. Or the free DLC. Let me out. Um... So, I'm only- I don't have the trophy system, so I'm not worried about the trophy system. I'm just winging it as I go. But now we're going into a fire, uh, cave. Which is ironic, because I'm going to be sucking on fire- Red Hot Candy. Do I like it? No. My husband got the wrong type. So he didn't like these, so I have to finish them off for him. And I can only handle two at a time. And get your mind out of the gutters. This is also a good way to get me to stop talking so much. Because by the end of yesterday, I, uh, hurt my throat. The scale of the sea god shines. I don't think Lobithian likes this treatment. Still as a well. I don't understand that one, but okay. Shine some more. Okay, then. I think I should have gotten that before I did the... Her... Stupid... Solo quest.
sooner we can get out of this town, the better. Alright, and we're done with that, and we can go on with the storyline now. Who's going yay? Because I sure the hell am. I'm sorry, I'm like really, really not in the Final Fantasy mood. But I'm still playing the Final Fantasy series because that's what I promised I would do. So... I'm finishing up the Final Fantasy series. And I'm going to... Well... Go on and play a different game series. Point blank. Luffy, I want my my um stuff back. Uh, you can have a time, and you can have. Poison. Because I want you. You should have that one. Hmm. Let's take fire away. No. I'm going to take Ifrit away. And put Lobithia in an Ifrit slot. Stills whatever when the materia is paired with. We can take cover off and just give him that. Okay, let's go to the plane city, the rocket city. Okay, we need to go to the weapon shop to pick up the gun is a man's weapon, nothing you, you can do. Okay. I must have already did that. When I came here. I suppose the thing. So yeah. We're going to the rocket.
Uh, don't you guys know you shouldn't be standing so close to a rocket? Those terrorists are here. Terrorists? I'm not a terrorist, you ass! Pick my blade. Because right now it's like the strongest one. I like it getting farther. Everyone, attack! Mm. I love the background. Also, if you can't tell, rain's behind me. going anywhere uh nowhere some of their stuff is really funny oh apparently sid will automatically join your party there's only one boss battle left against rouge and it's very easy so don't waste much time to equip Sid. Huh, okay. Well, this is his plane. Yay, Odin leveled up. Oh, hi, Sid. Wait, Cloud. If you're going to kick those whatever out of my rocket, then take me with you. Sorry, Red. Bittens. Oh, shit. I didn't read that. Uh, it'll be fine. Make sure you have seal equipped to the someone. Oh. Fuck a golden. Excuse my language. Golden chicken, because no one has a freaking. I have two seals. Oh, yeah. Sid. You again. We'll take out anyone who gets in Shinron's way. You would think he would learn. Who am I stealing from? Oh, from Rouge.
But she has nine, so... Nine thousand, so... While everyone's attacking, he's gonna be stealing. Ow! Come on! I like says animation for stealing. Vincent's limit break. Well, oh well. Oh yeah, I gotta show off his limit break so I can equip chaos. Which is fine. They got us. You. You. Why are you here? Bridge of the Turks should be here. Too bad. Those things. Those guys got over there. Man, the Turks. Being done like that. But I won't let you through. Okay, fine. I'm going to show you uh his last one. Have everyone guard. This is Hell Ma Master. I believe he is a Michael Myers, uh, like character or a Jason theme character. I'm not really for sure. I think it's more Jason. Because of the hockey mask. But I could be completely wrong. Alright, so his next one is Chaos. Hey, what's going on? What the hell are you doing? Hey, just when I thought break something was going on, you came back. Listen to me, Captain. We're going to launch this rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? We're going to load a materia bomb in this and blow up the meteorite. Our rocket's going to save the planet. Man, this is so cool. Wait a minute. Shut up. Just what the hell's up? How's the rocket? It's pretty good, but we plan on running into on autopilot, but the most important vice is broken. Broken? How's the repair going? She runs doing it. Oh, great. What a whatever wizards you guys are. She's going to take a hundred years. I'll take over, so don't worry about autopilot. You guys go ahead and tell everyone. Alright, Captain. Good luck. Hey, Sid. What are you gonna do? 
There are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside the, the materia. If you're going to blow up their powers and save the planet from Sephiroth, there's no way we can lose a, the huge materia. You understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. I understand that materia is precious, and I also understand what you're thinking. But listen, I don't give a rat's ass whether it's science or mag magical power. No. I guess I have my own choice. Rather, I put my money on the power of science. Humans used to be on their own. Only roam across the ground are able to fly now. And finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is the power created and developed by humans. And science just might be able to save the, this planet. I might be able to earn my living thanks to science. To me, there's nothing greater. Now quit your worrying about what Shinron's going to do. I don't want to for... I don't want to regret not having done something later. But Sid, shut the hell up. I don't want to hear it. Alright, time to get to work. Everyone who ain't evolved, get the hell out of here. What the hell? What just happened? Hey, hey, hey. What just what the hell did you do? They said they finished preparing the all pilot, so I launched it. God damn it. Why did she pick the day to be so fast? We can't even budge. It's completely locked up. Hey, hey, hey. Almost lift off. What the? No countdown? It just don't seem the same without it. Hey, hey, hey. Blast off. With us inside it because they are just a-holes. I feel sorry for that town that was built right next to the rocket. The hell? The rest of piled of junk got up. I finally made it to outer space. Let's see. How the course set. Yep. It's headed into with the meteorite. We're in space now. A great long rest. Connor set his way to lock down the autopilot device. We might be not be able to change the course. So this is the end? Huh? What the hell are you saying? You're still young, and you gave up this early? Or this easily? I'm not gonna crash to the, the thing. Just watch. I kept a escape pod in the rocket just for mercies like this. code oh, okay what to do with the huge materia if you want it do what you want should be there after you climb the, that ladder you sure I don't know I know what I said a minute ago but maybe all I want to do 
was just to go into outer space. So, why don't you do whatever you think is right? Well, he got into space, so right now he don't care. I finally found the huge materia. This is locked open. We must enter a passcode. Okay, the code is circle square XX. That's why I got quiet. Whoa, pretty cool. You got the post, post passcode on the first try. You must have known the passcode. If not, it's impossible. Knowing in his case, he guessed. Uh, damn, my leg stuck in the rubble. Sid. No, I can't lift it. No, oh, you should be able to, seeing how you're a vampire. I know he's technically not a vampire. He's more like a monster, but his appearance gives off that vampire vibe. Don't worry about me. Hurry up and go. If you don't hurry, the rocket's going to crash into the mirrorite. Mirror. Whatever. I can't go without my friends. You, beep. No time to be worrying about other people. I'm going to do whatever I can. You, stupid. You really... You really... Sh beep. Stupid. I think the B... The beeping... Is actually uh the F word. Tank eight blew up. So tank eight really was mouth thing. You're right. But this is the end for me. Don't say that, Sid. Huh? I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. You stupid beep beep. I'm pretty sure it's the effing B word. Sorry. <laughs> he called her the effing B word and then said, and then apologized afterwards. God. Please hurry. Okay. Hurry, I'm going to detach this escape pod. Hey, does this pod really fly? It'll be okay. I've been checking it up until now. Then I'm gonna leave. Thanks. Okay, I think those two do get married afterwards. Because of this. So this is outer space. 
man, it's really a real thing. I really hear in outer space. Uh, yeah. He's geeking out. I think it's still there, it's just not as big anymore. I just got a shield on my back. Yeah, it broke off pieces of it. But now you can tell it's not a normal thing. It's something else. Rufus and the others' plan was a f was a failure. Oh. What a bus. I kind of hoped it worked. We've been bothering them so much as we can. But there was no other way. I wonder if we've been wrong all this time. It makes, makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry. Think. Hey, the girl's right. You start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things just start falling apart, get worse and worse. You're pretty damn optimistic. You up to something? Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All this time we've been up here looking at the planet. I've been thinking about we should be floating in the sea. I've been thinking ever since we were floating in the sea. In the ocean. In the skate pod. I've been thinking too about the universe, planet, sea. How wide and big, no matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. I always thought this planet was too huge. But, but by looking at it from space, I realized it's too small. We're just floating in the dark. How kind of makes you feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sethroth busting inside it like a sickness. That's why I say this planet, planet is still a kid. A little kid sick and troubling in the middle of the huge giant universe. Someone's got to protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. 
Sid, that's beautiful. Yo, Sid, you even got me. Do. Now what? How are we going to protect the planet from that? I'm still thinking about that. And everyone goes to their stations. Huh? Red? What's wrong, Red? Did you hear something? The planet scream. Or that. Is this the planet? Hey, do you really think this is... Do you really... Do we know that this is really the planet scream? Did you forget? His grandpa told us. Let's go see grandpa, our grandfather, to my cannon. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that will be useful. So that's our next story point. But before that... Talk to the pilot. Talk to the pilot. He's level 10 now. Before that, we gotta go get Sid's ultimate weapon. I love that it's just right there. And now I don't have a rocket. <laughs> That's cute. Little things about this game is so adorable. My... My, my precious rocket. It's gone. Hmm, I know. No matter how much I look, the rocket's still gone. But I can't stop that. I can't stop it. Just call it old man's foolish, if you will. Hey, sorry to get you into this. For me, it's a beautiful kind of hobby. Out of thing, I'll give you this. I don't wish I wish you would take care of it and use it. Okay. And we're done with this planet. Or this uh the city. Altogether we're done with this city. We do not need to return to the city anymore. So the next section is to go over to the town. And then we'll get a big, uh... A big, uh... Cutscene. Which I'll get into details. I should have all four of them. Oh, that's how you go back to the ship. You was triangle. Huh. One, two, three, four. Oh, in the next uh section we are going to get um my dragons other brother now if you don't actually like the fact i made the three lebithians brothers to me they're triplets the original being lebithian i'm pretty sure hojo created zero and neo Because at least that's how it seems in uh, Crisis Core. Because you do uh, missions for Hojo. Where you fight uh, monsters mostly. You fight his creations. Because I fought Neo. No. I fought Zero. So I think he actually creates Neo and Zero. But I'm not 100% sure. That's why I say in my AU... 
Neo and Zero are brothers of Bayamut. Neo being the youngest of the three. And yes, my poor character, who's for Cloud slash Vincent, whoever, I feel like giving her to. Yes, she's cursed with having the three dragons being up her ass. Because in every Final Fantasy game, Labithian is linked to my character. I said, but nine. Shiva is more linked to her than L Labithian. But I will get into de detail about that when I get to nine. Eight, I don't think any of the summons are actually linked to my character. At least not off the top of my head. Now, as we play eight, I may decide to have a summon or two linked to her. But as for Seven, my poor character has three summons, two, she could be paired up with two guys, not to mention during the movie, because the movie, not only does she have to deal with either being with Cloud or being the ex-girlfriend of Cloud and being with Vincent, because, yeah, that's the plot line. She has to deal with with uh, Seth Roth's clones. Which I will get into detail about that in the next video. Because I need something to talk about. <laughs> so, yeah. So, leave me a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!